Hello, this is uh, Mr. B with, boy, this is a neat car. This is uh, probably a 1950 Chevy convertible. Um, maybe a 51, I'm not sure. Uh, wouldn't that be fun to drive? And we're going to do a fun assignment that uh, should take us uh, this week um, to explore. And the first step is uh, we want the uh, background color here uh, to be black or foreground color black and the background white. You can just touch it down here. And we want to duplicate our layer. And on the top, we want to go down here and make a mask. Now we simply click on the top layer and we're going to spend this week under filter in something called filter gallery right here filter gallery under filter so we did black and white open the picture duplicate the layer make a mask go on the top layer not on the mask but the image and we will go under filter gallery right here And we're going to make this smaller. And the wrong picture is showing. Though it's a neat picture there, isn't it? So let's cancel. And let's make sure we get the right picture. We'll go under filter. Filter gallery. There we go. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six folders. Each folder gives you a different effect. So for this major grade, you need to have one, two, three, four, five, six final <clears throat> different pictures. It could be cars, and, um, people, landscapes. Uh, whatever you want. You could take them off your cell phone uh, or you could go on the internet. So we're going to open this up and go to artistic and there's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen different filters. So we're going to take our time and go through each one and then decide which one we like and I'll show you what we'll do. So here's colored pencil and each one of these filters has uh, carrots and it gives different effects so this one I'm not crazy about maybe you'll like it um, the white is coming from our background color so if you wanted you could go back and let's try that let's hit cancel and let's take the um, eyedropper and let's take uh, a really deep shade of red and let's make it our background color and I'm going to go back to filter we'll see what this looks like uh, camera let's see filter gallery we're going to start with artistic, and I think we run colored pencils. Oh, that's kind of neat. So you play, uh, experiment with the different stroke pressure, paper brightness. And the reason we're going to mask is, I'll show you that that's kind of a neat effect. We could, boy, I, I like that. We could do some fun things with that. So that's just one of them. Here's cutout. This is one of my favorite cutout. Now I've got the background to red, so it's showing red. That's kind of neat. Let's hit cancel. And let's make that white again, white and black. And let's see what this looks like. Filter. Lens correction. No, sorry. Filter 
and we're going to filter gallery and we'll go to artistic and we did cutout and with white as a background it should give us a different effect remember what you see is what you get and then here's dry brush again have patience you need to uh, go over each one of these carrots that's kind of neat I'll just go through this there's film grain fresco neon glow and look at this you can change the color let's do hot pink see what this looks like that's kind of neat uh, neon glow okay paint dabs so this is like you're turning your uh, photograph into a painting. Let's see, palette knife. For me, I want to be able to recognize uh, what I'm doing. So you got to have patience. And remember down here, uh, you can enlarge and go for the detail. Or I like to see the whole picture, but that's up to you. Plastic wrap. Ooh. <laughs> plastic wrap uh, wraps your object in plastic. And that's kind of crazy, huh? Oh, that's kind of neat. Look at that design. Hmm. I like that. Uh, let's see. Plastic poster edges. That's a fun one. Jeez, that is so cool. Gosh, that could be a poster. That is really neat. I like that. Uh, rough pastels, as if you were drawing. Some of you are taking Mr. Walters, and you've done pastels in there. And this is, uh, you can change the direction. Bottom left, top right. Some neat stuff. Boy, isn't that cool? Uh, smudge stick. Sponge. Underpainting. Again, you need to have patience and go through each one. So the picture is recognizable. And it's something that you like. And then here we can change the direction and then watercolor so that's neat uh, so you need to choose one of these for this car and then I'm going to show you what to do when you finish uh, I'm giving us at least a week maybe even sneak into next week before the winter break there's brush strokes distort diffuse glows kind of neat especially for portraits. Um, splatter. Wow. Uh, let's see, sketch. I'll just pick one of these. What does this say? Let's see. Um, photocopy now that's kind of neat graphic pen but again you want to play with it gee that's neat look at that makes it look like a graphic pen tree. Ooh, I like this there's horizontal lines which mean they go straight across vertical lines go up and down and left diagonal you'd probably want the lines to go in the direction of the car and then uh, stylized growing edges and then textures uh, this is fun stuff um, on the texture you can do stained glass again you want to look at that you want to uh, be able to tell what it is and um, 
oh yeah, glass. This is cool. Under distort. Uh, diffuse glass. Ripple glass. Another glass. And then up here, check this out. Canvas glass. Frosted glass. Tiny lens glass. But again, we want to know what it is. So you could turn it down. Look at that. So let's fix something like this, okay? And uh, again, I'm going to close this. You need to, for each one of these, I'll call them folders or suitcases, you've got to come up with one different picture that you experiment with and then save it as a JPEG. But let's say we're going to pick this crazy design and there's OK. And we're looking in the layers palette. Now watch this. If I turn this off, it's normal underneath. So wow, let's see what we can do. So number one, we could go to the opacity. And you could turn the opacity down. Um, we'll go to normal. What happens on these different modes. You can go through here. We have experimented with some of these before. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Let's pick something pretty well. I'll pick the hard mix. And now, <clears throat> um, let's see what Phil does. Fill is like opacity, so you could have part of it. But let's go to the mask. And we want this on black and white. We want this on the gradient. We want to come up here. We go to basics, and we want black to nothing. And we make sure we're on this. So what we could do is start to pull this if we whoop, wrong picture that's for another filter i like that possible impossible well mr b lost the picture not the first time so if it happens to you that's okay it just happened to me it went behind so i'll dock it so let's go first layer on the mask now this is a pretty wild uh, picture and what we can do is make part of it real and let's change the opacity we'll change it to a hundred to speed this up and you can see by pulling this up here it gives us a mask here and this black is like taking a pair of scissors and cutting out the top picture and the bottom picture shows that's well if we don't like that we could go control Z or I could change this to white and bring it back and change it to black and I'll take some of it away whoops <laughs> that picture keeps jumping forward doesn't it you could also go to your brush tool and you can make your brush bigger uh, you could have a soft edge on it and that'll give you a little bit more flexibility it doesn't have to be perfect you could just freehand this and you know I'm gonna finish up here you could change the flow I'm sorry the opacity opacity and flow is very similar to me 50% so this sidewalk becomes a little normal but at 100% we go completely normal 
I kind of like the leaves in that. And um, you could pick an area where the headlights are normal. And I think you get the idea. So when you finish, uh, you want to go to Layer, Flatten Image, and then File, Save As, and you want this as a JPEG, and you want to title it. So when I call you up to be graded, uh, this one would be called Artistic. And then uh, you would save it to uh, your downloads and then save it artistic downloads you'll save it this is 8 always put it on 12 and hit OK and then of course you know how to put this uh, into your Google Drive one last thing when we use 3D or if someone uses 3D on in another class when they log in when you open it it may default back to 3d so you want to go we want to find workspace let's see window workspace and when you do that make sure it's not on 3d but put it on essentials right here and you'll have the tools right here all right okay have fun uh, don't forget about uh, the portraits, uh, high, high um, contrast and desaturated. I supplied the photos and the collage if you haven't done. And there'll be one more assignment before now, uh, um, or not this week, but the following week before we go into winter break. And I uh, look forward to seeing your work. You're all very talented. Alrighty, thank you.